Hello, um, this is Zoe, and uh, today's video is a monthly favorites for June 2015. I hope I'm speaking loud enough, yet again. Um, it's really late at night, it's like 4 in the morning. So I venture to say it's morning by now. Uh, but I slept a lot during the day, and um, I know, let's see if I can get this done quickly, because I have a lot of favorites for this past month. Um, deal with me. Uh, I straightened my hair a bit. Not all look a ton, ton. Because I do consider my hair pretty healthy lately. Even though, you know, this side they look pretty with my bangs. My bangs have gotten really long. But I like the way they look, because it gives me that 90s vibe. Like that girl's head, like those kind of things. I just wonder. I like that. But this side always gives me trouble, even if the hair's healthy. But it's giving me a lot less trouble, so it's good. Maybe it's not that bad. Just needs a little trim, I'd say. But my hair's getting a lot longer. You can even see the whole length. It doesn't have to be back. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. <laughs> Where's my burette? I don't know. That was gonna be in this favorites, but it'll have to be in the next favorites because I couldn't find it when I was getting all this stuff together. All my favorites together. So let's begin. I mean I'm already at almost two minutes. So I made this skirt uh this past month. At sewing class, um, it's pleated. Do you see the pleats? Yeah, I made those with the help of my instructor, of course. It was like my first pleated skirt, and it's on this hanger hanging in my closet. And, uh, I wore it already, and I really like the fit. It just looks really girly, really nice. Can't believe I made it. It looks like you could buy it in the store. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> it made a nose. A mouth on it. But I don't want my hair to get very long. That's why I'm doing the inversion method where you. And not just that, but I'm massaging my uh, head and my, my scalp in general to make it like grow faster, kind of, for hair. Because I want long, 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 long hair like down my butt. So I can like, do all sorts of cool things with it. So I didn't, also I didn't put any makeup on tonight because it's like my time and yeah, ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna do that. <laughs> but I hope this is like a good video. I just hope. But let's get to the next thing. Okay, I'll 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 talk about this next. This is actually a palette from an eyeshadow and a uh, palette, and it also comes with uh, what's it come with? Like a little um thing to put the eyeshadow on with, a little swirl, what do you call it, the applicator. And it comes with eyeliner too, which I really like the eyeliner because it goes on so good, it's really soft. It goes on really well and I use it to do my waterline because it's so soft. I like uh, soft, uh, easy to apply um, eyeliners on there because I don't want to push too hard, it's a sensitive area. So, it comes with a mirror, I don't want to blind you. Sorry. Okay, so it's a, it's covered with a shield, so the stuff doesn't fall out. But I got a lot of neutral colors there. You can see it better now. A lot of neutral colors, and then on this end of the spectrum, there's pinks, and then uh, there's the eyeliner. I really like the eyeliner. Um, very happy with it. Did I say that my friend Diana gave it to me? Yeah. 
She gave it to me in like May, but I started using it a lot more this month, uh, this past month. I like it. So nice. This is a book that I just found again in my room. It's a book of like phrases, sayings in English. Um, I gotta find like books like this in other languages because that would be really helpful. I didn't even. This is in English, and I, I don't. I don't even know all the phrases, but they're like idioms, kind of like uh, there's a frog in your throat, the, the, the cat's meow, bird in the hands, and the hand is a. Wait, no. That must be part of the one. It doesn't show the whole thing. But, uh, I'll read you some. But I just found it. And I really like it. I'm glad I found it again this month. So I really was happy about that. Because, uh, it's just really fun to read. And I got it at, like, this class book club or something like that when I was little. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that. But, yeah. Also, if you ever hear me talking really low, it's because I'm nervous, and yeah, so don't mind me, <laughs> please. Just keep that in mind, because um, I could talk louder, but I'm nervous anyway. Um, get off your high horse, that's a common one, I'm sure you all know that. Uh, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> They're all animal related, by the way. You can leave a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Those are all the horse ones. They have a different animal in each, uh, page. That will get his goat. Oh, and it says what it means underneath. So, yeah, it's a really good book. It's really well made. It's, the illustrations are amazing. This really fits my recent, uh, things, because even though these are sheep, isn't that a lamb or something? Or goat? And I just drew a lamb and it came out like a piece of a lamb and it just it turned out really well. I'm finished with it now. I mean, is an art a piece of art like ever really finished? I mean so I guess I could add to it someday. But yeah. Ooh, that looks so much better. <gasps> she was kidding. Unless you guys actually think it looks better, then okay. Whatever. <laughs> Separate the sheep from the goats, which means divide the good from the bad. In two shakes of a lamb's tail, which means quickly. It's really good. These are really good. So I know it's already eight minutes. I'm sorry, guys, but. I have a lot to say, apparently. She fawns on him. She lavishly tries to please him. Usually it's fawns over him. Isn't that what people usually say? Or wait, on him and fit. Um, eager beaver. Enthusiastic person. I knew that one. Let's uh, say one that I did not know. Uh, let's see. Monkey shines, <laughs> which means uh, mischievous tricks. I'll show you that. Yeah, it looks like it's flipped right now, but when I post the video, it probably will look regular. The illustrations I do like a lot. I'll try to look at these and try to get, uh, try to copy them or like use them as references. Not copy, like. But yeah. As mad as a hornet, which means furious. I know a lot of these actually, but some of them I definitely do not know. Um, you'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar. You'll get what you want by being nice, not by being mean. There's a fly on, in the ointment. There's a small problem. I never heard that one. I like the illustration though. Next to it. Which probably, yeah, I like that one. 
She's probably a queen bee, though. Boss, uh, buzz off. I thought it said boss oops. <laughs> so cute. Water rat. Good swimmer. I never heard that one, but it makes sense. She clammed up. She refused to talk. I actually knew that one. I'm having a whale of a time. I'm really enjoying myself. She clings like a barnacle. She's hard to get rid of. That's, that's clever. And then there's other ones, even in the uh, table of content. I mean, the index. Uh, if wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. Desire alone would make dreams happen. If wishes were horses. Sorry. Uh, if wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. Desire, desire alone won't make dreams happen. How does that make sense? Oh, yeah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, that's enough for that one, probably. Um, that's, that's good. I like that book. It's very good. I like that a lot. Because I like languagey things, so it's that the inner language geek in me loves a book. But I liked it when I was a kid, so and I didn't wasn't that Well I liked languages then too, but not as much. Okay, the next favorite is this headband. Which I got from the store. It's really for little kids, but believe it or not, it fits over my head. I usually do it the other way though, so this looks kind of like this makes me kind of look like a hippie or something. Oh, <laughs> what a dummy guy! I could also use what I like about this headband is I could also use it as a choker. It makes me look totally ninety. <laughs> Take the baby ears out. Ooh, maybe I should just let all the bangs in. All the bangs. All the bang bang. Bang bang. Turn to the bang 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 bang. Okay. That looks stupid. I can't even have to smell that. Alright. Nice. Anyway, this is a favorite of mine this month. Because I like using it as a choker. But also as a headband. It might look stupid, but I don't care. Okay, on to the next one. I've been using uh, Nivea cream an awful lot on my legs, heels. Uh, like my like my knees and elbows, any rough spots. Um, uh, and it works like amazingly, and it makes it feel so nice. You know. It's just fun to apply. There's so much in the container. It has kind of like a lotion smell, I guess you can say, but I like that. I, I like I like products now. Impress me. Speaking of which I got my new uh, lip shimmer. I wear this like every day. I put it on like every night because it makes my lips look much more like uh, moisturized and uh, I just really like the shimmer and also I don't like the modified part of it, but I, I it's good to put over like let's see if I get this I don't know but I wear it alone too and uh, it's good for that and I like the color of it too it smells really good too it smells like fruit so I like the moisturized part and it makes my lips not look so chapped because I think when that happens it happens pretty often actually. Um before I had them at least. Alright, I don't know when I got these, but like these cookies, these Keebler cookies, these fudge striped 
ones. They're really good. I probably got them at like Cumberland Farms or something. Uh, because there's one at my university and I probably went there a couple times during the summer so far and I probably went there to get a snack or maybe I got them during the school year, I don't know, but I put them in my June favorites. <laughs> but they're good. I just eat them so fast. I don't know, I just eat them all up and they're only dollar. Or maybe I got them at CBS down the street. I probably got them from there and ate them while I was drawing or doing something else. Um, I'll talk about this one right now. This uh, flower that my dad got, and it's in this um, bottle, wine bottle, from, we, we got it from Italy and it died, but it just, I like looking at it. I liked looking at it all this past month. Of June and uh, it's beautiful. It reminds me of the Beauty and the Beast, but I got it before, and, and my friend, uh, my new friend Ray, and I really like Beauty and the Beast and the French one La Belle Rebecca, and um, from 1946, and uh, we both love that movie, and. Um, I got this before I met him, like right before, so it was kind of weird. But it's really. It still has the faint smell of a rose. Because obviously it's a rose. <laughs> but it's lovely, and I love this wine bottle. I don't love wine, but I love. This bottle because when I'm using it, it reminds me of Italy and my Italy family. <laughs> the people we stay with usually, and she, we know them like, way back. Because my mom was pen pals with them when she was like, from when she was like 15, so. And she went there to visit them quite often, so. well, twice when she was young. But yeah. I'm sorry that this video is getting so long and I still have so many favorites, but yeah, I'll keep going. I'll try to do it fast in the next few minutes. Um, ginger ale, I've been loving this one. I told myself I wouldn't say loving and angry so much in this video because a lot of people do that, but eh, who cares? <laughs> it's, it's what I, I've been loving. It. I was like in that last time. Okay, I, I just got this uh, new. I mean, this is the one I've been getting for months and months and months, but. Moisturizer. I like the fragrance free one because it doesn't uh, irritate my skin so much. But, uh, yeah, like. It still has a faint smell. And the last one I got of oh, this plain one, fragrance free, didn't really have a scent. Um, but this one kind of does, but it still doesn't really bother my skin. It's so creamy to me. I love it. I put it on every day, every night, every morning when I wake up, and every night when I go to bed. So yeah, these dries are my favorite moisturizer. Olay and Gemma Sculpting Cream. Micro Sculpting Cream. Let's go again with another uh, facial product. Um, I know this is probably like being expired in shape, but Clarisil reminds me of the early 2000s because I remember, I don't know, it just reminds me of like, I don't know, I have a weird vision of the 2000s and this reminds me of it apparently. But I love to use it in the shower. It really like makes my skin feel nice. I really like smell mostly. It has those little beads in it. And yeah, it's probably like expired to be honest with you. It says 2007, made in France, but there's no expiration date on it. Or maybe it expires. Oh my god. I can't read that. Oh my god. It's 
spiders. Or maybe that's not an expiration date. Freaking minerals. Clear skin all day, every day. I use it in the shower only. Mm. Just because that's when I like to use it. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because it's. I don't like dealing with it. I only use one. Um, the, the, the shower and one not in the shower and sometimes when, when I go in the shower I use both but that's usually what I do with it. I'm obsessed with having like, like skin moisturized and you know, washing my face and stuff because uh, every single day because I have psoriasis really bad and uh, my skin can get really really red around here and up here, and like down here, and like really bad on my neck. I can see the faintness of it. It inflames if I don't wash my face. It inflames so bad I hate it. I hate when it's like it's all dandruffy, but it's not. It's, it happens, you know. It's, it's my my um, psoriasis. So yeah, look it up. It's P S O R I A S I S. It's so bad. <laughs> and this, I need to detangle my hair all the time. It takes like 15 minutes in the shower to detangle my hair, so this makes it a little easier. Again, this is probably expired too. I found it in a cabinet. And it says, uh, okay, it doesn't have a date on it, but whatever. Oh, it was made in my state. It was made in my own socket. Tear free. I love that. It says tear free. So if it gets in my eyes, I won't tear. It's so cute. It's mild and gentle for the whole family. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on. I've been loving this uh, bottle that holds my brushes, my paint brushes, because it's really, really, really good for the purpose. Um, this month I've been loving this because I love Arizona iced tea. I love this flavor, and uh, I love the art on here. I think it's gorgeous, and I, I really like the bottle. It's just made nicely and. Uh, it, it allows me to stand them up in a, in a really, really good way. Like, because I need to stand them up on the brush because that, that way the water comes out and it doesn't go back into the brush and uh, damage it. And that's really important. Same thing for makeup brushes, by the way. Uh, I learned that on a YouTube video and it's so true. It really makes sense. You don't want to put it back in there. If you're dry enough, you're not right? good, very good. Look healthy in there. It's time for me to use them again. I've been using a lot of colored pencils this month, but I just like to put them in there. I don't know. But I've been using a lot of paint um, brushes too, but I need to use more brushes, uh, paint and stuff. Because I love painting, it's so fun. Um, speaking of which, let's talk about these, these two paint colors. I have many of these kinds of paints. These full part paints. I saw Super Mary Face using uh, these, I think, or the Apple whatever ones. And I have both brands, but um, they're only like they go from fifty cents to like one fifty. Um, it's just the range uh, at um, Walmart, and I love buying them because of that. And, uh, because, yeah, I just like them. They're really good, and they're only, like, really cheap, you know what I mean? I, I love when that happens. Which is why I like Arizona IC. Because it's cheap, and it's good. And the bottles are beautiful, and the cans, too. But I like these colors the best, because this is, like, uh, this is literally Peridot. Peridot, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, see? It's like a metallic shade, and I like that in paints. 
there you go, see? And uh, I like this color because it's my birthstone, and also it's just beautiful. I like light, light green like that. And it reminds me of my eyes. I know it's hard to see the green in my eyes sometimes, especially in the dark. And then this is like my favorite color of earth. It's an ice blue metallic, -y, which makes it even better in my mind because I love that. It just reminds me of the 90s for some reason. It doesn't say the color on there, but it says the color right here. It's literally ice blue. And I love this brand because it says the, the distinct shade it is, or the distinct tone, really. And ice blue is legit my favorite color. That's what it's called and everything. And Perry dyes is the same as that specific name. And I just really like that. It's like you're getting something like that you exactly want, and I like that. Um, so I've been liking those paints so much this month, and last month, and month before. I just yeah. But did I mention? Yes, this is my first monthly favorites. So that's to mark this in our eyes. Uh, I'll probably start making a playlist that says monthly favorites, because a lot of people do that, and I think it's a good idea to organize that. But I don't have enough videos yet to like, or I haven't before this to make uh, playlists and stuff. But, now I do. Um, okay, let's talk about the next one. These highlighters, I've really, really, really been enjoying them. They're gorgeous, and they work so well, and I like to use them for my language study specifically. Because I study languages and uh, I have my own textbooks and my own notes. I use them for my notes to mark the uh, like different units and stuff like that, different points that I grammar points that I need to go over again, or like vocabulary words that I really really like or whatever. For example, the name of my YouTube channel Zongora is uh, or Zongora is a uh, Hungarian word. Uh, that I found in my Hungarian textbook that I had in school. I had to bring it back to it before I uh, went on my summer vacation, but I'm gonna take it out again, obviously, because <laughs> I loved that book and I didn't get to finish it. I think it was on like chapter 30 or something, or page 30, I don't even know. But I really liked it, and um, I found that word in there, and it means piano in Hungarian, and uh, I just love that. It's like song order, song hour, or something, or song to. And I like that. And it also sounds like my name you know, Zo Ungora. And uh, I like um and it also Zong part sounds like a nickname of my friend that I no longer talk to actually. Um used to call me sometimes and um that makes it a happy thing too. And then uh and then the order part is like his nick is like our time, both in Hungarian and Italian too. Um, I don't know what other languages yet. I don't remember if it's in any ones that I know of already. But um, yeah, so this is probably gonna be the longest video ever. Sorry, um, probably gonna be over thirty minutes. I talk a lot, and I had a lot of favorites. I'm sorry. Um, not to mention I'm nervous. Mm. So it's probably going to take a long time to upload to. Oh, I just thought about that. Probably going to take a long time to see. Yeah. No, I don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but these highlighters are so good for me. But yeah, the zone part is like the same thing for me. And then time or hour. So it's pretty cute when you think about it like that too. So I just like the word a lot. But just to me, there's just in general, I guess, when I first saw the word, I thought it was beautiful. Like, Hungarian has a lot of beautiful words like that. In my opinion, it's like one of the most, if not the most beautiful language of Earth. And I just love it because it's like, I'm Hungarian and I just really love it. I love the culture too. The language is like the most gorgeous thing ever. Like, the English grammar, I love it so much. I want to become fluent in 
I'm very modern and very legit though, I want to become a film composer and stuff. But this month I've actually been studying Italian a lot, and I've been actually up with that in my favorites right now, but talking about it. I've really liked, um, what's it called? Uh, that, um, what's I just talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do a lingo, um, pretty much that. Just like any, like, Wikipedia articles in general that are in different languages and, and translating them, that's been like a favorite of this month for me. Like, I love translating articles. Um, I think I was doing that when I met my recent friend, Ray. Yeah, I was translating, like, like, do a lingo Italian articles on, on Wikipedia. And it was, I was having a blast, and then I just met a new friend, and it was like, well, great night. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to see the, the brands that these are. Spot, Spotlighter. Spotlighter from Pilot. Can you read that, bros? Bros. How's it going, bros? Let's be a better. I hope it's not copyright infringement or something like that, like, I get to go and anyway, um, <laughs> Okay, this one is, um, the brand of my new bra that I really like. It's like the most comfortable bra I've had, the most pretty bra I've had. And it's just really nice. I can't show you the bra because it was a new bra before. Okay, you can kind of see the green in my eye right now. Hell yeah. I'm also kind of talking faster and faster because it's slowly approaching an hour, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, candies. And donuts. Okay, I'm gonna save it for last because that's the freaking best pencil I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I just said a word while I was doing it. Okay, these glasses amazing. Like, I was hesitant to wear them at first because, like, nobody could see. <gasps> in the glasses. Um, because I was like, white, that's not gonna look good on me. But then I, like, put them on and it looks so cute on me. Like, the shape, the glasses, and the light, it just looks adorable on me. I just love them. So much. And the mom wants a pair now. She thinks they look cute on me too. Yeah, uh, favorite glasses ever. Right now, at least. And then these, um, my dad gets these, gets these a lot. Gin gins. They're like the ginger cookies. They're kind of like, I don't know, if you don't like, like, the spiced taste, the strong spiced natural ginger, then you're probably not gonna like these, apparently, but, or probably. But I like them a lot. Sometimes I gotta like take a little bit of time. But they really calm your stomach. If you're having a stomach like ache or whatever. Your stomach's not feeling good. And uh, they really do help. And they're also just good to have candy. You know, and the art on the actual package is adorable. Look up ginger and uh, chewy ginger candy from the ginger people brand. It's adorable, the art. It reminds me of like fairy tales and like fumbling up for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, it's, I love it. I love those. They're so good. And I've been having a lot of them this month that I recall. It's actually getting like light outside. I could see out the window from this basement. Can you see it out that window? Wait, no, there's the window. Ooh. Yes. See? It's like a faint. You see that? It's like a faint light. Oh, I know. You could see all the toys from my childhood. <sighs> I do like this look, but. I already feel my hair a little bit in this. 
excursion. And so, okay, these, brace yourself for something really adorable. I will use these on letters and stuff because I'm starting to get more pen pals and, uh, <sighs> okay, I, I'm not scared to use them because I can get more at CVS, but these are so adorable. I've already used a lot. Look at me on my other shoulder. Look at that little deer, Bambi. Oh my god, there's a donut and a cell phone. <laughs> so cute. And I'm not sure in the flower. I think there's some stuff on the back too. A cupcake. You can really see the green in my eye. Headphones. Candy, butterfly, uh, either a muffin or a cupcake. I didn't put my nail polish in these favorites uh, because um, the one I just that I just put in that CVS haul because um, I didn't get to use it yet because I I'm waiting for like my nails to grow out a little more. But then I'm gonna cut them because there's like this weird thing. Around, but uh, it might be a long time until I try that out, so I'm just gonna hopefully next month favorites. I just wanna try it out first before I put it in a favorites or something, but I think it will be in there. And then there's a little worm. Do you see that little worm? It's so cute. I wonder where the turtle is. I know I didn't use it yet, but it's not on here. But I do know that like a lot of them did fall off and on to various parts of my room <laughs> stuck on there. But I'll, I'll still use them because they're so cute and they still are sticky. So. <laughs> this turby twist. Okay, you twist your, you put your hand on like that. You put the turby twist on like this. Okay, let me put it on for you right now. Put it on like this. When you get out of the shower, you do this. Or I do this all the time. And I wanted to put it in my favorites because I've noticed this month more than ever that it really does help. Especially when you're getting out of the shower because my, especially if you have like long hair, because like it gets your hair out of the way so you can dry your body off. And like, yeah, I love that. It's so amazing, like for me. Because I noticed like, all growing up and stuff that my hair was always in my face, even when it was short. So I love this and I love it now. I'm sorry, something was in my eye. <laughs> um but I actually look kinda good with it, like when my hair's dry. Sorry about that light. I think I'll keep my hair in this. Because it, it actually looks pretty good. And you already saw like 30 minutes of my hair down, so you had enough of that. Okay, this month I've loved these Boston Market. Yes, Boston Market specifically brownies. And they're so good. Like, you don't even know the half of it. Like, you gotta try these. Like, seeing them is half, but like, the other half is like trying them yourself, yo. You need to try these. Oh my god, they're delicious. We already ate most of them. But we just family pack. We cut them into little wedges. So there's one more wedge in there. And they have like chocolate chips in them. And they have a really good texture. And they have the just, just the right amount of cocoa-iness. Um, it has a bit of cocoa-ness to it, and, uh, see the chips? 
of chocolateness. And holy shit, they're so good. Oh my god. And then I got they got a little flakiness on the top and it's so good. I urge you to try these, they're delicious. Mmm. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful brownies. Mmm. I'm sorry, I'm disgusting. <laughs> but I'm like so amazed right now that these are so delicious. And also I love seeing the morning sunrise and stuff like that and see kinda of seeing that right now. Let's hope the weather is good today. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm just gonna finish this. I really need to get an editing software or something. So I can edit these parts out. You can see the light over there too. Okay, I just need a drink. <sighs> sippy sippy. Sippy sippy. <sighs> so good. Last but not least, this pencil, believe it or not, this is the best pencil I've used ever. It says America's Pencil USA Gold, number two, HB. And then it weirdly, weirdly, weirdly AF has a little N or V on it. But I think that's mm, a mistake. It's just like a nail marking. Like the hand, fingernail marking. And then it's got a good eraser. Like not one of those hard ones that don't even erase. And then it's got this obviously. And it's got a blue stripe on it, which is cool. But the lead is a little cow. It's really shit for me. The draw is really nice. Like, I just did a drawing of it. I mean, with it. And, ooh, You will never believe the quality of this. Like, it draws so good. I found it this month, which is why it's in my monthly favorites, but also because I just really like using pencils. I'm not getting you. It's amazing. So go and find yourself an America pencil. Because it's amazing. Okay, yeah. Those were my favorites. This is 43 minutes. We're almost 44 minutes long right now. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was not intended. Like, I'm not joking. I feel like it's been like 2 minutes. That's what I feel like. I make really long videos. I'm so sorry. Also, my eyebrows are back to normal. In case you cared. And also, I'd like to really thank my friend Ray for his shout out video for me. I'll link it below because he has a really cool uh, haul in it too. Um, and I did a crappy shout out last time because. Um, I accidentally like put really loud music over his shadow and that was really stupid of me. And also it was really dark in there, so in one of my next videos I'm gonna do a proper shout out for him. Uh so yeah. 
Uh, I'm working on other videos too. And, uh, but I just wanted to get this favorites over with because, uh, or up. I want to get it up because, uh, yeah, it's like 7th of July right now. It's the second now, but yesterday was the first, and I wanted to have it up yesterday, but I slept too much during the day, and I, I didn't get to because uh, after that, when, after I woke up, I had to do a lot of stuff. So, yeah. And I'm sorry. But I really want to thank him for his shout out because that was really nice stuff he said. That was really adorable. And uh, I liked his glasses. That was cute, right? Um, and I really liked, you know, all he said. It's true. We do talk about movies a lot. We do talk about drawing. We talk about a lot of other stuff, but like, those are, it's cool. cool. Those are some cool things we talk about. Um, and, and, you know, we just met, so, like, we have a lot of growth to, to be happy, to happen for the future, so, yeah, we're gonna be pen pals, um, so, yeah, go be friends with him, because he's awesome, you know, go subscribe to his channel, I'll put it down below, it's Mandy Wildbar, uh, but, yeah, this is not a shout-out, by the way, disclaimer, but, anyway, those are all my monthly favorite, monthly favorite. It's all my monthly favorites, you guys, and, um, yeah, uh, nobody's probably gonna watch this video because it's like an hour long, but, uh, yeah, and yet again, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm probably talking really well, but, um, I was thinking of doing the accent tag, yet again, I said that before, but, um, I'm gonna do it soon, and, uh, what else? Yeah, I, I'm working on that speed speed sketch. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm I've not yet found out what I'm gonna do, but I'm probably gonna do that today. Actually, right now I'm gonna go look for a thing that I want to do, and I will have it up next. But I'll probably have it on up soon. And I I do get a good song for it. It's like this Finnish song, so yeah, you'll love it. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. So I'm going to say goodbye now. Auf Wiedersehen.